blah, blah, blah. This doesn't make any sense. Hey, friends. My name is Tiffany, and I am a fat yoga instructor trying to make yoga more accessible to everybody. <laughs> So a quick reminder, make sure you subscribe, you hit that notification bell because you don't want to miss anything. Every single day I post a yoga video, so you definitely want to make sure you're subscribed. And then I have a Halloween rock and yoga class coming up October 30th, and I want you to be there. Grab your chair and let's get started. Let's find a comfortable seat to where we can practice some breath. So tap into it. You can do this on the chair or on the floor, wherever it's good for you. So roll your shoulders back, bring your hands to your lap, close your eyes or have a super soft gaze like those magic eye posters from the 90s. Take a deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. Deep inhale here. Open mouth, exhale. Deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more on your own. Deep inhale. <sighs> Begin to seal your lips and breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, finding that ujjayi breath. This should feel good. Count to four, five, or six. Finding the breath that works for you. It should sound kind of like an ocean wave where if you were to bring a glass up to your mouth, it would fog the glass. On that next inhale, come back to center. Notice if your ears start, ears start slouching, shoulders start slouching, and take that right ear to the right shoulder. Maybe we reach our left hand off to the side, and then come back to center, inhale, to center, exhale, reach the left ear to the left shoulder. Right hand comes off to the side. Inhale, come back to center. Find a couple of neck circles, inhaling and exhaling, and then going in the opposite direction. And then open up your eyes. Inhale, both arms come up, and exhale, we reach chin to chest and let yourself just kind of dangle here. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, we find a twist. Both arms come down, left hand to left leg or to the right leg. Right hand behind, take a deep inhale, we lift the chest. Exhale, we twist. On that next exhale, we come back to center. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, we turn to the left. Both arms come down, right hand comes to left leg or left or to the right leg. Take a deep inhale, we lift the chest. Exhale, we twist. And then come back to center. And just give it a little shake it out. Good job. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise. Find our half lift and exhale, we fold. Inhale, we circle arms all the way up to the top. Press our palms together and exhale, we come back to center. Inhale, scoop up the arms. Press our palms together. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, find our half lift, and exhale, we fold. Inhale, circle the arms up, press our palms together, and exhale, coming back to center. Let's find our crescent. Starting with the left, go ahead and take that left thigh to the chair. My heel is, is lifted, I'm on my toes on my back leg, and my front leg is out in front. <laughs> sounds weird to say. Bring your hands to your hips, and then lift your chest. Take a deep breath here. Bring one hand up to the sky if you can. If you cannot, that's totally fine. You can bring, leave your hand here. But if you can, let's begin to reach. This is the leg that's extended behind, so we find a side stretch to the left. And then we come back to center. Bring both hands down, and we switch sides. Both hands, ay, <laughs> both legs, switch sides. Right hand can be on the chair back or onto the hips. Maybe your left hand finds the sky. Take a deep inhale, and we find our little side stretch. Exhale, we come back to center. Bring both hands to your hips, 
and then slowly begin to bring that left knee in and switch sides, coming back to center. Both knees widen. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, find our half lift, and exhale, we fold. Inhale, we circle arms all the way up to the top, press our palms together, and exhale, we come back to center. All right, let's find this standing with the chair. Find your chair. I'm stepping on a blanket. You can step on anything you'd like. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, find our half lift. Exhale, we plant our hands and step our feet to the back. Watch out for blocks. <laughs> my blocks. We come forward, find our plank, lower down, and push back up. Allow our hips to come forward for upward facing dog. And then move your hips back and find downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Take your right foot forward, find your crescent. You can keep your left hand onto the chair, or you can keep both hands onto the chair, but our twist or our action happens as we shift, we will be shifting. So if I'm facing you doing this, like this, we will shift like this. So it's like a turn, like that side stretch, that same side stretch, but with the crescent, okay? So we're here. We're in our crescent with the chair, and we lift our chest, maybe our arm comes up, and we find our little side stretch. Take a deep inhale, and then we come back to center, both hands come down, we step the left foot forward, right foot steps back, we switch sides, find crescent other side, we plant that left hand down, and maybe both hands stay down and we just find the, the side stretch very softly in your in our bodies, like wherever we need to. Otherwise, our, right, our left hand comes up, we side stretch, and then come back to center. Both hands come back down. We move our left foot back, we find our plank, lower down to chaturanga and push back up. Allow the hips to come forward and the hips to move back. Take a deep breath here. Begin to walk your feet in, find your halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise, circle arms all the way to the top, press our palms together, and exhale, we come back to center. Now we do it with the blocks. Right, last one with the blocks. Inhale, we circle the arms all the way up. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise and find half lift. Exhale, we plant our hands on the blocks of the mat and we step our feet to the back. Find our knees or on our, or on our toes. Exhale, we lower down for Chaturanga. And then push ourselves back up. Allow our hips to come forward for upward facing dog. And then bend our knees, shift our weight back, and extend our legs and find our downward facing dog. Take some deep breaths here. Take that left foot to the middle of the mat, right foot steps forward. And this time, I'm just lifting all the way up and then adjusting my foot. You can also lower down your knee and then rise up that way as well. Both hands to my hips. And then lowering down in my crescent lunge, finding my crescent. Both of my feet are planted onto the earth. Engage my core, lift my chest, and then add my arms. Spread my fingers, shoulders away from ears. Feel strong in this posture. Now, my left leg is the one extended, so I grab my, I bend my left arm. No, I bend my right arm, <laughs> and my left arm is extended, and we find that side stretch this way. So this is what it looks like. Side stretch this way, but in a crescent. And we come back to center, bring hands to hips. Take that left foot forward, right foot steps back. Find our crescent lunge. Lift up our chest. And then we add our arms. Bend the opposite elbow here. So left elbow bends. And then we find the side stretch. And then come back to center. Both arms come up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, we bring our hands all the way back down to the blocks. Set our back knee down, swing around that left leg. Find your plank, lower down for chaturanga. Allow your hips to come forward for upward facing. 
And then tuck our toes and lift our hips and find our downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. Slowly begin to walk your feet into your hands. Find your halfway lift. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, we rise. So pull our arms all the way up to the sky. And come back to center. And we're done. I am loving this sequence. So I will see you tomorrow. Adding on some more. Bye.